Alright guys, welcome back Cody's Auto Diagnostics. Today we are doing what? What are we doing, Lil? Some. See what scan tools uh Yeah, the see this how fast they how fast they turn on and how long it takes to recognize the vehicle. Oh, listen to that. So yes, we're doing a comparison via, uh comparison video on how long boot up time for all these scan tools are, the, the three, the, the Zeus, Snap-on Zeus, the Autel 906, and the Launch Diagon 4. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's get started. The Snap-on is going to be the slowest one out of all of these, uh, but I'm curious on the boot-up time from the launch and the Autel. I'm curious to see uh, the difference between those two. What did you do in school today? I learned about the Civil War. And I forgot my piece of paper of how I was just fixing my first paragraph. I forgot Hold that on. in the classroom. Oh, you forgot it? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like it is ready. So, one minute, 21 seconds. Lil, you want to write that down? Yes. The board's right there. One minute, 21 seconds uh, from for the, the snap on to boot up. Alright, three, two... One, go. Okay. Which one do you think is the most expensive? The Zeus. All right. That is loaded and ready to go. I have to renew my membership or subscription. We'll do that later. But that one. Ready to roll, 37 seconds. You know where the power button's at on that one? Yep, right here. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Three, two, one, go. go. Nice. Still gotta go into the program, can't cheat. Oh. Okay, I guess it's a total of 16 seconds. 16 seconds. That's, uh, that's fast. Yeah. Alright, so next we're going to see how long it takes to communicate with the vehicle, right? Yep. So let's, uh, Get on so here's that. the numbers. Just to recap, Snap-on took 1 minute 21 seconds to boot. Autel was 37 seconds. And the launch with 16 seconds. So, Surprisingly. Yeah, the launch uh, killed it on that one. Yeah. Right now we are seeing how fast, because all these, all three of these vehicles, or all three <laughs> vehicles, all three of these scan tools have the wireless module, the VCIs. So we are going to see how fast each one will take, and mind you, the vehicle's outside of the garage, so it's not, it's probably about 30 feet away, so it is a good distance. We will start off with the snap-on. So when I tell you to, Lil, hit the start button. Okay. And what we are looking for, so if you guys don't know, down this right-hand corner, just got the new update, the 19.2. Well, down in this right-hand corner, obviously that tells you your Wi-Fi. It tells me I'm not connected. Here's your scope. If your scope, if your scope was on, this right here is the communication to the VCI. So once that lights up, that's what we're that's what we're testing for now. So you're waiting for this light to light up right here, and then you're gonna hit stop. So I'll tell you when to start. And then you'll press stop, okay, babe? Okay. All right. Let's do this. For this one, I'm not going to be able to show you, but I'll tell you, that's for sure. Okay, you want to write that down? 
Yep. 56 seconds. So it took 56 seconds for Snap-on to start communicating. Okay, so down here on the bottom where it says VCI, it has a red X mark. And I'm not sure I can get it with, without the glare for you guys. But right here is what we're looking for. So once this light lights up, meaning that this that VCI is communicating with the vehicle, or communicating with the scan tool rather, not the vehicle yet. We haven't gone into that yet. So we're just waiting to see how fast for the VCI to communicate with the scan tool. So when I tell you to, babe, hit the start. Yeah. And the, we are looking, see VCI? Yeah. See the X? Yeah. It'll have a green check mark once it communicates. Got it. Autel, 13 seconds. Breaking record. Yep. That, I'm going to tell you to, I'll tell you to start, but it's going to pop up with a message that's going to say Bluetooth connected. Okay, so this is, this is the Bluetooth. So once it says that, then we hit stop, and okay. it's going to be fast. Okay. Okay? I'll hold it. As you guys can see, um, the Bluetooth will pop up, and In that three, will stop. Surprisingly, it took four seconds. Wow. Are you already connected? Yeah. And four whopping seconds. All right. That's very surprising. So snap on just under a minute to recognize the, the VCI. Autel, 13 seconds. Launch, four seconds. So launch wins this one again. All right, this next test. Plugging in the VCI, gonna already have it communicated with the vehicle, but we are gonna do a full health scan on all the all the modules inside this vehicle. A couple things we want to look for is each how many modules is each scan tool bringing up. There may be a scan tool here that can't communicate with certain modules, while another scan tool can. So that's something we want to be mindful of. Just gonna. All right, so. Built the vehicle and the scan tool. Like I told you, I just updated to the 19.2, and I was pretty sure that on the old old version of the Snap-on, I was able to do the full system health report with the with the Zeus. Well, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there is no full system scan. It used to be right up here at the top, so. On a 2004, we'd have to go into each individual module. If you got codes and, and you don't know, I mean, that's just a pain. You have to go through each individual module, and right now it's showing that there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 modules on this vehicle. So we'd have to go into each individual one. So not sure if that was because of the 19.2 update or because of the year, but I was pretty sure that the old update, I was able to do a full system health report on it. So moving on to the next one. So that was a bust, just right down bust. Okay. Snap on bust. Okay, Autel. Um, okay, auto scan, hit it. Go. So, like I was saying, with the snap on, we'd have to go through each individual module. Okay, hit it. Time. Stop. 140. 
Nope, one fourteen. So one minute fourteen seconds it took to go through each and individual module. So there's pulls up sixteen computers. Okay. Pass in all of them. So just to show we can go into the door module see some live data just to show that yes it is a live module on this vehicle and we have data okay so 16 modules and it did do the auto scan next Diagon 4 okay health report 3 2 1 let's see how long it takes so it is doing it. Hmm. Um, actually, I think that one's gonna be a tad bit faster. Cause you think so? Yeah. Because it's bigger, or why? Why do you think that one's faster? How many has it gone through? It's blazing through them right now. So we're at thirty-five percent. Yeah, that one was blazing through like one, two, three, four. We've hit the halfway mark. We're at sixty percent. Mm. Sixty-five, seventy, mm. seventy-five. Yeah, 80, I got that one faster. 85, 90, 95, 100. Hit it. Okay. Okay, 45 seconds to do a full system health report on this. I'm going to have to count these modules because it doesn't give you... A t oh, let's go to full report. Let's see here. Okay, so going into the full health report, it says that there is 16 modules. Okay, so that's a, how many modules did the, did the Autel say? It said... Uh, Do you remember? 16. 16, yep. So it read every single module. Both these read every single module. Okay, so now... This is not the direction I thought this video was going to go to do a full system scan on this. Now I'm going to have to go through 16 modules to see if there's codes. <laughs> Obviously, I was trying to give a fair run, all three scan tools. I'm not prejudiced of one over the other. I think each and every single one of these, the reason I own them is because they all have Work. a Well, yeah, and they all have a place. So, obviously... These two, just off this quick demonstration, these two doing the full system health report, and that one not doing it, obviously right there is just is a difference. So this is about 1800, and then I got this for about 630. So there's big differences right here. And this little thing did what this thing could do, and but this faster. little thing couldn't, you know, could do more, right, just off these three tests, more than that. So that's that's the beginning of our trial uh, for the three three scan tools. So what do you want to say, Lil? Three series. Um, maybe this one is a little bit too much of a bust because like it didn't work for the last one, and like you said, like it it more than likely it it you believe that it did like it did the full health scan, and this little thing, the launch, it was the cheapest, but it was the fastest. It was the fastest. Sometimes you just, sometimes you think the most expensive is the best. Nuh uh uh. That's hey, do you guys hear that? Man, spoken like a true champion, right? I don't know where she's heard that before. So, yes, the price doesn't mean everything when it comes to scan tools. Unfortunately. You know, well well not sometimes. unfortunately, it's fortunately for us. So uh so yeah guys, thanks for tuning in. Cody's Auto Diagnostics. See you later. And Lily Donaldson, Liliana's all right, thanks, babe. And we wait. Okay. You know what some guys call this? What? Slow tell.
Or awful tell? Snap on. <laughs> I think it's moron. Right? It's moron. Moron? 